Garden Studios. This is the latest on my discast. I'm going to tell you about... So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you later stuff. What's up? I'm JR. You're chilling? All right, let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So the topic we're going to talk about um, on this newscast, you know, this topic is very important, is most important out of season 11. So you might want to hear this because um, it's going to help you and your children, friends, family, or whoever you care about so much. So um, let's get this topic started. So the topic I'm going to talk about uh, right now is fentanyl abuse. And what that means is... Um, Fentanyl is the most deadly drug out of any drug that anyone could use. So, what is fentanyl? Well, I wasn't going to talk about this uh, newscast, um, Fentanyl, until it recently popped up today. So, while I was again, while I was waking up, um, I was thinking about stuff. And then, while I was looking through my phone about random stuff, I looked at this um, article about fentanyl. And... If you don't know what fentanyl is, it's a uh, drug or medicine that used to treat severe pain or in cancer patients or trying to, you know, prevent pain. But, you know, fentanyl that is legally distributed uh, is kind of made up of chemicals that uh, resemble the real fentanyl used to treat patients. Um, so, um, you know... Fentanyl, the dangerous drug, is distributed into other drugs such as heroin, cocaine, you know, marijuana, you know, CBD, you know. It can be found in anything. Um, it can be used, um, it can kill a lot of people. And, you know, it takes a lot of people's lives and it takes, um, injures so many people, you know. And, you know, you don't even know that you're doing fentanyl until it's too late, until why you found out. If I never even did drugs, so... I don't know what fentanyl is, you know, I don't know what um, what it is to take fentanyl or do drugs or something like that, except the drugs that I was prescribed with about my, you know, problems and stuff. So, um, and, uh, you know, the doctors that use fentanyl describe patients, you know, they use some kind of different uh, ingredients to, you know, help patients, but, you know, the fentanyl that used to distribute the series kind of that makes up the deadly drug um, it has, you know, it has something to do with, the, you know, a lot of chemicals on stuff. So, um, I'm going to look through my phone right now and show you why I'm talking about fentanyl. So, let me look through here. Um, I did recently watch videos about fentanyl and all that stuff. And recently, I just um, watched it on YouTube. And I'm going to leave a link down below of what fentanyl really is. And you see this right here. Um... Let me let me light up the screen some so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So, um, here is what I'm talking about right here. Fentanyl overdose survivors shares their story on Nightline. So, um, as I was watching this video, there was a father trying to save her daughter's life, you know, trying to give her CPR because she passed out, you know, and then the girl, um, she was in high school, you know, she was, she was doing good. She was a star. She liked sports and all that stuff. And then once she experienced with drugs and all that stuff, her grades are starting to fail miserably. So, um, yeah, that just came into my mind, um about teenagers and the drugs and you know children touching drugs and start taking them doing them uh trying them out you know doing it for fun and all stuff you know drugs ain't fun you know you know it might be fun when you're a first time user but after that it becomes addictive so yeah that's the reason i'm trying to stay away from that so um look at that um yeah so i'm glad that she survived um i'm happy that she turned her life around you know there were recovery programs for that you know for drugs and stuff so uh fentanyl so yeah the most dangerous drug um uh, and i know that you know there's types of fentanyl and there's rainbow fentanyl so it looks like candy but you that's not the candy that you don't want to use so um 
Okay, so let me type in fentanyl. Show you what I'm talking about. And I'm also going to post this picture on my newscast so you can see what it looks like. It's not, it may look like candy, but it's not candy. Look at that. Rainbow fentanyl. Look at that. Wow. You see this? Wow. Look at that. What to know about rainbow fentanyl as schools announced. Let me let me go into this article right here. It's Good Morning America. Um, what to know about rainbow fentanyl as schools announce plans to fight the growing crisis. You know, drug use, you know, that's killing people right now, you know, killing all the beautiful women, all the people that had their life ahead of them. And then, you know, they die from drug overdose. And then, you know, the parents are crying, parents are sobbing, parents are very depressed that their child's gone. Or in fact, their only child is gone because of drug use. You know them drug dealers, you know, they all about their money distributing. You know, fentanyl is a very dangerous drug. Um, And if you get caught with more than eight grams, or a lot of it, then you know, the drug is killing people. You know, you're responsible for selling them that drug. You know, they taking it, they overdosing. You can get life in prison for that because you know that it's deadly. You know that it's going to kill people. So, um, yeah, so. All right, as I was saying, amid on ongoing fentanyl crisis across the United States, officials are warning about the new method being used to illicitly market the drug to children and young people. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency issued a warning in August about the so-called rainbow fentanyl, described as highly addictive and potentially deadly fentanyl made to look like candy. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Wow. Made to look like candy. As I was saying, it definitely looks like candy. So, you know, I mentioned that earlier. So, yeah. So, rainbow fentanyl. Rainbow fentanyl, fentanyl pills and powder that come in variety of bright colors, shapes, sizes, and is a deliberate effort um, by drug traffickers to drive addiction among kids and young adults. God dang, so they're targeting young adults and kids. They're after kids, children, young adults that has their lives ahead of them. Damn, what the hell is wrong with you people? God damn, you knew the killer. You don't have their lives ahead of them, and you want to ruin them by giving them drugs, selling them to them, and then they're going to die, and you might, and you might cause parents pain to have to bury their child before they die? Damn. So, where was I? DAA. DEA administrator and Milgram stated the men and women of the DEA are relentlessly working to stop the trafficking of rainbow fentanyl and defeat the Mexican drug cartel that are responsible for a vast majority of fentanyl that is being trafficked in the United States. A solicitly manufactured fentanyl, a powerful synthetic opioid. So you know, fentanyl that is distributing illegally through Mexico and China, getting enough the chemicals to make that fentanyl is synthetic. So that's not real medicine. That's not real fentanyl that doctors are using. So wherever you think fentanyl is real, that is used to treat patients and, you know, using the same ingredients that kills people. No, that's not real fentanyl. The fentanyl that is distributed on the streets is not real fentanyl. That's fake. That's chemical. That's toxic chemical that is that is being brought from Mexico and China. So, wow, wow, people, damn, you addicted to that stuff that can literally kill you from all that toxic chemicals, all that, all that. And I feel like I'm teaching a class right now instead of doing a newscast. So, I hope y'all take this seriously because doing drugs and, and you know. Especially fentanyl, you know, fentanyl is very dangerous drug, very fake, used in other drugs, so they used to lace, spice things up. No, that's nasty. That's dangerous. So, where was I? A powerful synthetic opioid is one of the primary drivers of the significant increases in drug overdose deaths in recent years. More than 56,000 people died of from overdoses involving synthetic opioids in 2020. Same thing as the coronavirus. Many people are dying. And, you know, it adds up 
to that uh, death right there, deaths count right there. So, increased from 56% from the previous year, according to the Centers of for Disease and Control Prevention. So, look at that. I'm going to let you take a look at that last time. See that? That looks like candy right there. Isn't that the candy you want in your mouth? Tasting so good. Mmm, so good, so good. Hell no, it's not that good. No, look at that. Looks like medicine. It looks like one of the Flintstones um, pills or Flintstones medicine that kids use. So don't get tricked by that. Colors and all this stuff. It's very colorful. You know, it tastes like candy. It looks like candy. But don't be tricked by that. That's a deadly drug that you're fucking with right there. Pills are often made to resemble real prescription opioid medications like oxycodone, vidcodone, and Xanax. Or stimulants like Adderall, according to the DEA. Most are made in Mexico with China supplying the chemicals. Oh, I knew it. I was right all along. Yep, all the drugs that y'all taking, all the drugs that y'all using, made of chemicals. In its news release, the DEA said that brightly colored fentanyl is being distributed not just in pill form, but in powder and in blocks that resemble sidewalk child wow 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 so y'all they're, they're really tricking out they're really doing a good job um using fentanyl just resemble different things like shock you know powder you know you can use that as powder to snuffing up your nose and stuff so wow examples of brightly colored fentanyl cues resembling sidewalk child that is being seized by the dea wow so all right, let's read, let me finish reading this. According to the agency, two milligrams of fentanyl, the equivalent of 10 to 15 grams of table salt, 15 grains of table salt, is considered a lethal dose. Without laboratory testing, there is no way to know how much fentanyl is concentrated in a pill or powder. The DEA said fentanyl remains the deadliest drug threat facing this country. And I was right. It's very deadly. And I never even heard of fentanyl until one of my friends mentioned that. He doesn't even take fentanyl. But, you know, one of the, you know, people that I knew that uh, are doing drugs, you know, went to school with. You know, you never know who's doing drugs right now. It's maybe people you went to school with, your family members, uh, people you know, you know, co-workers, all that stuff that are um, having a hard time with drugs. So, um... Amid all the recent warnings, statistics about rates of overdose by so-called rainbow fentanyl are not available yet. In response to the growing threat and the recent rise in deaths due to fentanyl, school districts in Florida, Texas, and California have announced new plans to fight the crisis. The Los Angeles Unified School District, the nation's second largest district, announced Thursday that Nello Zone I got, I got to uh, figure out the names of the drugs. I can't even pronounce it right. A medicine used to reverse the effect of opioid overdose will be available at all K through 12 schools in the district. Wow, I didn't know little kids do drugs too. Damn. Provided by the free, provided for free by the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health. The announcement comes after several suspected overdose last month with one juvenile dying at Barrett Bernstein High School in Hollywood, according to um, the Los Angeles Police Department. Here are the questions about fentanyl and the growing crisis. Why does fentanyl exist? All right, I feel like I'm doing a, t I'm doing a class right now instead of a newscast. Once again, why do fentanyl exist? Pharmaceutical fentanyl is used frequently in medical settings. The love for pain management treatment of cancer patients. It is 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine and 30 to 50 times more potent than heroin, according to the DEA. It is a very good and effective medicine at relieving pain in appropriate quantities managed by anesthesia. Dr. Kimberly Sue, the medical director of National Harm Reduction Coalition and Addiction Specialist at Yale University, told ABC News last year. What we're seeing in the opioid overdose deaths in this country um, is related to fentanyl that is obtained outside the context of medical restrictions, usually on the street. Why is fentanyl so deadly? 
like I just said, um, the fentanyl that's used on the street is made of chemicals instead of the ingredients that doctors use. So, um, why is fentanyl so deadly? So, fentanyl is dangerous because it depresses a person's respiratory function and central nervous system and can cause a person to stop breathing according to the, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. If fentanyl is inhaled, consumed, or injected, it can be deadly, but a person cannot overdose by touching it. Yeah, so if you touch a drug and you don't take it, you're not using it, you, it can't kill you. It can't kill you, but some drugs probably can if you simply touch it. But methamphetamine and all this stuff that got on you, even though you don't take it, probably will kill you, but probably will mess you up. But fentanyl, no. How does a person know if they're, they've taken fentanyl? There's no way to know whether pill power contains fentanyl by simply looking at it. Fentanyl has no distinctive taste or smell. In case of a pill that you buy off the street, people should assume that there is fentanyl present even it is labeled as some other medication, said Sue. I taking care of many patients who think they're buying oxycodone or heroin. There's nothing in it. It's just fentanyl. Fentanyl testers are a tool people can use to test for the drug for consuming something that could be laced with fentanyl, like a pill, powder, nasal spray, or eye drops. To use the strips, a person dissolves the amount of substance in water and then dips the test strip into the water. The strips can get results in as little as five minutes, according to the CDC. Is there a way to reverse a fentanyl overdose? Nalo zone, I couldn't even pronounce it right. Um, I just gonna post it on newscast. The medication being made available at all Los Angeles public schools is the main tool used to reverse an overdose. The medication, also known under the name brand Narcon, can resume, can restore normal breathing within two to three minutes in someone who has um overdose according to the CDC. Nelozone is available in all 50 states, can be used without um, medical training and can be delivered by either nasal spray or injection. Injection. In most states, Nelozone can be purchased from a pharmacy without prescription according to the CDC. All right. And here's more about fentanyl. Where does the exactly manufacture fentanyl come from? Police and other experts, other experts say fentanyl and fentanyl laced pills have been illegally imported as far as far out from China and even smuggled through the U.S. Mexico border. More of the more than a hundred thousand one eleven thousand pounds. Sorry. Um, I was just thinking about um, how could you drive a vehicle which you know is full of fentanyl, full of drugs, and you know you can get death sentences and you can get life in prison. You're just literally risking your life. I mean, all that money you can make, you know, yeah, yeah, it's just taking risks. You want to make money, all that stuff, but still, like a lot of fentanyl drugs in a vehicle that you're driving with, you're carrying with. I mean, that's very sickening, right there. That you're you know, you wanted these people that are delivering drugs, you know, that's killing people. You know, you're helping, you know, a lot of people kill themselves, really. So, all right, back to the story. Of the more than 11,000 pounds of fentanyl that has made its way into the U.S. last year, more than half of it came through the border between Mexico and San Diego, according to investors. In some stances, instances, Chinese drug suppliers send the ingredients to make fentanyl to cartels in Mexico. After creating the fentanyl, either in raw powder or pill, pill form, the cartels would ship them across the border in trucks, according to investigators. Alright, I'm just going to stop right here because, um, wait, there's, I think that's the end right here, but I'm just going to finish reading it anyway. What do I do to help a person who is overdosing? So, if you think a person is overdosing and but are not sure, the CDC says treat it like it's an overdose. Signs that a person is overdosing may 
includes small and constricted pupils, slow and shallow breathing, choking sounds, falling asleep or losing consciousness, and pale blue or cold skin, according to CDC. The first thing to do is call 911 immediately. Next, the CDC says to the minister nasal zone to the person if it's available. While in the ministry help, try to keep a person awake and breathing by laying them on their side to prevent choking. So, yeah, so that's the end of, uh, you know, the article right there that I'm reading. But, you know, wow, 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 what a, what a, what a story right here, folks. So, um, yeah, so I know people that I went to school at, the people that I know are going through drug overdose right now because they fight depression all this stuff. I mean, I get depressed too, but I still don't do drugs. I don't even do drugs at all. I don't even take prescription drugs anymore. So, wow. So, yeah. So, wow. Look at that. Woo. Look at all these pictures of that fentanyl. I mean, you know, that you don't let that fentanyl trick you into thinking sweet candy, you know. Like I just said, fentanyl doesn't have a taste, doesn't have a smell, you know, and it's killing people all over the United States. So, um, yeah, so, um, just thinking about something because, you know, what if people I know are laying so unconscious right now, um, and, uh, you know, they're drug, they're overdosing on fentanyl, which is made of a lot of synthetic chemicals. So, you know, just thinking about that, you know, it's, you know, me, it made me lose my mind right there. And I can't even think properly because make me thinking about that, you know, most dangerous drug out of all drugs that are being used right now. So, you know, drug overdose is not okay. You know, it can kill people. It can kill your friends. It can kill your family. It can kill your parents. It can kill, you know, someone you love. You know, once that, you know, death has occurred, it's too late. You can't fix it now. So, just think, you know, there are recovery programs that are, that are willing to help you. There are resources that are willing to help you get, get through this. I mean, everybody goes through hard times, but not like this. Wow. I mean, that's crazy right there, Diane. Staying sitting right here talking about this, you know, dangerous drug out of all drugs in the U.S. So, yeah, that's why I want to talk to you guys about today. Um, that's why I wanted to talk to you about. That's why I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So, um, I hope that this newscast will help you realize that you know, drug use is not okay, especially among children and teenagers. So. Um, that's all I'm going to talk about today. So if you know someone or someone that is struggling, please get them help. Please call, you know, there are resources out there that are helping, um, that are willing to help. So, you know, you see that in TV shows all the time that talk about drug use, you know, Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, you know, celebrities do drugs too. So, um, you guys are not the only ones. Celebrities do it too. Um, and all this other resources. So I hope this newscast really helped y'all and I hope you enjoy it. I hope I see y'all in the next newscast and it's gonna be epic as always. So I hope you enjoy it and I will see you next time and I am about to sign off. So once again, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I am out, peace.